Are you looking for a perfume that will perform even in the coldest weather? I'm talking snowy days, freezing rain, and it just keeps working. You can smell it, others around you can smell it. Well, I have five fragrances and four out of the five are unisex. So if you're a guy and you so happen to stumble across my channel, definitely keep watching because these fragrances are for both women and men. And I have one that's designated for women, but let me just tell you, a guy can certainly pull it off with no problem. So if you wanna know what these five fragrances are, keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to Sasha Scents. As I mentioned today, I'm gonna to be talking about five fragrances that are perfect for that snowy day, freezing rain, or whatever kind of cold weather you've got going on where you're at. And I'm excited because this is a collaboration and I'm doing this with several other amazing fragrance reviewers. Dr. Rose reached out to me to see if I would be interested in collaborating and of course I said yes. And if you don't know who Dr. Rose is, her channel is Dr. Rose's Perfume Corner. She is so much fun to watch. She tells a lot of stories when she does her fragrance reviews. So you'll definitely wanna check her out. Another collaborator is Nisha and her channel is Spicy Looks. She's got some great content, really enjoyable to watch. There's Gabrielle with the Fragrantition. She's got a great personality and makes her videos a lot of fun. There's Patrice with Perfumes with Pat, another great fragrance reviewer, definitely check her out. There's Kia with Yummy411, who is great, has a nice personality, a lot of fun to watch. And last but not least is Lulu, and her channel is Lulu, another great personality, very knowledgeable in fragrances as well. So I'm gonna put a link to all of their channels in the description box so you can check out all their fragrance recommendations for snowy days, cold days. They're gonna share with you their fragrances that can definitely perform. So I'm super excited to get right into the ones that I have. And the first one I wanna talk about, I think you guys are gonna really enjoy, and it's not talked about very often, so that's why I'm super excited about this. It is a unisex fragrance. This one is called Bon Bon, and this is by Mason Deorient. This is a chocolate perfume, and let me just say, when I first got this and smelled it, it took me back to when I was younger. I would go to Holland every year. I was actually born in Rotterdam, Holland, the Netherlands. And my family would go every year to Holland and we'd visit relatives. And it seemed that we always went when it was snowing out. And the kids would play for hours in the snow and then we'd come back in and the adults would always have this, I think it was this liqueur or this like pudding thing called avocat. And they serve them in these little glasses with these little spoons and they would eat this liqueur out of this glass. But then they would have a whole tray of these chocolates. And when you bit into these chocolates, it was liqueur. And that is exactly what this smells like. When I first sprayed this, it I mean, literally, it took me back to those days in Holland, eating those little chocolates with the liqueur in there. And it smells absolutely amazing. You get a really dark chocolate, like I said, almost that liqueur type of scent. Now the notes in here, there's peony, chocolate, there's rose, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. So a super nice fragrance. It is very decadent. You will smell edible wearing this. It's really, really nice. Now, after about a half an hour, that liqueur type of scent dissipates, and then you've got more of a little bit of that rose that you can definitely pick up on, that peony, and then that woody base. You've got some sandalwood mixing with that vanilla and chocolate, and it's an all-around really nice fragrance. Performance-wise, it's six hours on my skin. Great projection, all-around really nice fragrance. Now, I'll put a link to all of these fragrances in the description box so that you can check them out. But again, this one, if you love a chocolatey, almost a liqueur type of fragrance, Bon Bon by Mason Deorient is phenomenal. All right, let's keep going. The next one I'm really excited about, and I love this one. It's absolutely one of my favorites, and that one is Plum and Cognac, and this is by Sense of Wood. This is an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. This is such a cozy type of fragrance that is just, it's smoldering. There's some tobacco, cinnamon, nutmeg. There's also caramel. And then that plum is in here as well. Now what they do is they take their, they age their organic cane 
alcohol in these vintage cognac barrels so that alcohol picks up on that cognac and then they add the other notes to create this amazing fragrance. It reminds me a little bit of Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford, but this is on a much higher level. It's hands down absolutely incredible. The performance on this one is incredible on my skin. This is easily eight hours. Projections fantastic and an absolutely gorgeous sillage. So if you love that kind of tobacco smoldering type of fragrance, this one is absolutely perfect. Perfect to cuddle up with or maybe to sit in a nice lounge somewhere. It's snowing outside and you're enjoying a cognac by the fire. Next, I have a Ben Fume, and this is a great one by Tom Ford. This reminds me of this huge open fireplace with the smoke smell from the wood burning. Well, this has some incense in there. It has that Palo Santo wood as well as ebony wood. There's also some rose in here. Now, I don't smell too much of the rose. Just a tiny, tiny hint of rose in here. You're mostly getting that wood, that smokiness, that incense. It does remind me, like I said, of a big fireplace with that wood burning. You've been skiing all day. You come into this gorgeous chalet with the fireplace. You're warming up with a drink. It's very seductive smelling at the same time. As far as performance, this is about six to eight hours on my skin. It projects beautifully. Very, very nice. Great sillage. Again, this one is a Ben Fume by Tom Ford. This is the newest one from his private collection. So if you guys have not had a chance to smell that one, I definitely advise if you can get a sample of it first to try to see if you like it. It is an incredible fragrance and I do highly recommend this one. It's really nice. All right. Next, I have Cognac Cafe and this one is by Galleria Perfumes and this is a Really nice fragrance. If you love that coffee, if you love cognac, you got the best of both worlds in this fragrance. Really cozy, very comforting. I love this one. It's, it's unique and that's what I like about it. It's definitely different. It is one of those fragrances. I can see you're sitting maybe in a coffee shop enjoying this nice pastry. It's really cold outside. You're reading a good book. Maybe the coffee shop has a fireplace going. There's coffee, brown sugar, there's almond and licorice. Now you're gonna get those little facets of licorice. I think this is what makes this fragrance very, very unique. That brown sugar adds that sweetness, but it's not overly sweet. It's done just right. And you've got cognac in here, so that liqueur. There's some sandalwood vanilla there's also a little bit of myrrh and then virginia cedar so as this dries down you're going to definitely pick up that woodiness from that cedar this one lasts on my skin about six hours six plus it definitely lasts longer on the clothes again really really nice great projection it gets a little closer to the body but it's still you're going to be in this bubble people are going to notice this fragrance it has a really nice sillage and again that is cognac cafe by galleria perfumes Really, really nice. And then last but not least, this is the woman's fragrance that any guy can wear. And that one is Angel Muse by Moogler. This is a great fragrance. It has some vetiver in there. It's got that hazelnut cream, some grapefruit in the opening. So it opens kind of bright, but that grapefruit dissipates really quick and makes way for that hazelnut cream and that vetiver. Some people find this very masculine. So when you first smell it, it does come across very masculine. But after about 30 minutes or so, it kind of tones down and you really get that hazelnut cream, a little more sweetness, and it definitely becomes more, in my opinion, a unisex fragrance. They should have marketed this as a unisex fragrance for sure, because like I said, both guys and girls can wear this one with confidence. It has really nice performance. This one's about eight hours on my skin, much, much longer on the clothes. It projects extremely well. This type of fragrance will enter a room before you do. So people are really gonna be able to smell this one. Even if they're not standing too close to you, they're gonna get wafts of this and you'll get wafts of it throughout the day. Great sillage, highly recommend this fragrance. Again, that one was Angel Muse by Moogler. So there are my five fragrances that are perfect 
absolutely perfect for that cold snowy day. I would love to know what fragrances you guys wear when it's really, really cold out. But anyway, there you have my video. I certainly appreciate it. Be sure to check out everybody else's video that I mentioned earlier, the ladies I'm collaborating with. I'm sure they're going to have some great fragrances to share and I can't wait to watch their videos either. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. Enjoy the rest of the day and stay beautiful inside and out.